going on everybody Z here welcome back to some more satisfactory so last episode we did some things we got some uh, uh we got some circuit boards being made actually our circuit boards are currently full so today we have to get manufacturing going and we need to get computers being made we also need to get the heavy uh heavy industrial the reinforced frames the heavy heavy reinforced frames whatever they're called uh, we need to get those going so we can actually get our monorail technology going because that is what we want. We want monorails. We want trains. I want trains. So this episode, we're going to spend the time. We are going to work on getting this built. We're going to go ahead and add the floor and go from there. Now, I was going to do this in a live stream. However, we uh, we actually ended up streaming uh, Farm Sim 22. It was a fantastic time. I highly recommend it. It was so good. It was so good. Uh, but yeah, we're going to we're going to get these things going. We're going to get walls put in here, a floor and all of the fun things i cannot wait so actually what i want to go ahead and do is i want to start with oh shoot i just realized that i don't have any silica powder in order to do to do the 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 windows oh that's not ideal okay we'll start with the walls and then we'll we'll do the walls we'll do the floor and then we'll connect everything and we'll make this work so let's go ahead and let's get these walls good ah, yes walls <laughs> we're gonna get walls done and then we'll uh We'll check in periodically here. All right, so all the walls are up. Um, They're looking good, looking good. Now it's time to do the floors. <laughs> so many floors. Floors aren't actually too terrible to do. Um, I think what we're gonna do, I need to get up there. So I would rather, I think I would rather do this from the top than from the bottom. Actually, you know what? This is actually working out okay. We are going to go through so many materials here. It's going to be disgusting. You know, I got to say, actually, the floors are not taking very long to do. And I've got to say, like, I am so appreciative of this zooping tool. Like, this makes factory building of this scale so much better. I remember going through and placing these one by one by one. Oh, my gosh. It was awful. Comment down below. Do you do you remember the struggle? I remember the struggle. The struggle was so real. <laughs> it was so bad. All right, the next floor's in. Holy moly. You know, as soon as you enclose something, it makes it look so much smaller. Like, I mean, this is a still, a, like, a, you know, it's a good size room. Uh, but, like, <laughs> it looks so much smaller. Um, this is actually the biggest room we have in our factory right now. Like, this is huge. Okay. So now that I have some cleared out materials. I'm gonna go grab some silica stuff and we're gonna get some windows placed in here. We're gonna follow the same theme of these. Um, and then I also need to go ahead and get, we, what do we need for the glass walls? So I actually need some steel beams as well. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab those and then we're gonna finish this off and make it look all super fancy. I'm gonna follow the exact same thing I did here uh, with this kind of layout, with the power, all of that. All right, so for this floor, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently here. And what I wanna do is I wanna use these. I wanna make three of them like that. And then we're gonna make the the like, like eyelet kind of thing. Um, So like that one, that one. Eh, getting these lined up is kind of interesting. So we're gonna make that on each of these and then we'll probably just use regular walls to like a finish attaching those and then we'll probably use regular walls everywhere else so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get this little decorative bit done and then we also need to get power run, run through all these as well all right so there's the interior wall side i gotta say it looks pretty cool looks pretty neato i like the uh, i like the giant eyes on the windows they look pretty cool the all-seeing eye. I mean, I could have raised it up and centered it. However, I was trying to kind of keep the same theme of where we have that, then a layer, so like that, then a layer. And then if we, when we do more floors, we'll probably continue this theme right here because I have a feeling that our, our rooms are going to be quite large, quite large indeed. So now that we did that, um, I want to go through and place, let's go ahead and let's actually place the rest of these window frames. Um, and basically how these are ran. I'm gonna run these all the way like this around here. Make sure that this one stays free because that one's gonna go back a little bit. 
Um, and actually, let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, if I don't like it, we'll change it. All right, so there's all those glass windows. So this is our main walkway area. And I think we're going to change the color of the walkway area. Just so we know it's a walkway area, you know? Um, and I think we might actually throw a door in on these side. But let's go ahead and let's get power hooked up here. And brought up because we need power for everything. Um, we probably won't need as much power on this level because this, actually, this level right here is actually kind of just the hub network. But I want to do it just in case. And then we're probably also going to want lights in here anyway. So uh, we might as well. And then I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the power nodes. I want to put them up higher. We're going to go one there and one there. That's how we're going to do these. All right. Wires are up now. We need to power the things. So we're actually going to go and pull this off real quick. We're going to pull this off. And then we're going to pull the wires from here up. And then that's going to give us full power control on this next floor. So make sure we're going that one top to top and then bottom to bottom. Now, if you don't know what's going on, um, basically what I'm doing is I have two line systems here. Something is wrong. That one was wrong. Uh, basically, we have two wire systems. And the reason we have two is so that way we can run our lighting because I have a central just basic factory lighting, you know, so we can just have hook up. Boom. Well, lighting is good to go. So essentially what it is, is the top wire is the lighting, bottom wire is the power. So if we need power over here, we hook into the bottom wire. If we need lights, we hook into the top wire. And basically I'm just trying to keep this a universal standard for my base. So that way I always know it's like, okay, let's see, uh, two wires. Oh, the top one. I need the top one. You know what I mean? So this is actually, what the heck? Some of these wires did not get hooked up correctly. And I think it's because I'm so far away. I think I might actually be hitting the wrong ones. So like that looks good. Let me go through and make sure that I did all of these correctly here. It seems like every one of these sides was messed up. I don't know what the deal is. How did I get over here? Did I just jump over this? Oh, I must have just jumped over it. So that side's good. That side's good. Is this side good? I bet you this side's broken. Nope, that looks good. Okay, I think we are good now. Okay, awesome. So there's... Nope. These are both going to the same one. Like, I swear, every time I just, like, walk around here, they keep moving. <laughs> are they moving? Like, wasn't this the one I just did? I just redid this one. Okay, hold on a second. Because I literally just went through here and redid these. And now that one's doing the same thing. It's not connecting to the, it's not staying connected to the one that I need it to. You know what? I'm going to go from out here so I can see a little bit better. Okay. So now they all look good. I don't know what the deal is. Like, I swear I went around these things like two or three times already. Okay. So those look good. Now we need to work on our fourth floor. Now getting up to the fourth floor, uh, this was fine for this. However, getting from this floor to that floor, that's going to be a little bit of a trick. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the hyper tubes. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect all of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And I think what I want to do, let's go ahead and pull these off of here as well. Is I'm just going to put a regular wall here. Like that. Um, let's go ahead and remove this window. Let's get a door in here. Can you open for me door? Thank you. Much appreciated. And let's see. What's my inventory looking like? Do I have... Did I get the stuff for this? Okay. So I did. So let's grab... Where do we have logistics? We need a... No, not logistics, transportation. Um, hypertube wall hole. That's going to go there. And then we're going to connect our hypertube from there to there. And then we're going to need a entrance and exit on it. And I think we're going to have these facing the main, like this main area, because I don't like really running around the back. It's kind of a pain. 
What am I missing? Oh, that must have been the stuff that I couldn't pick up. That's weird. I just picked them up. Ah, oh, but I'm missing encased industrial beams and pipes? We must not have had an entrance on this one. Okay. Well, hey, that's good to know. Um, and then let's go ahead and actually, since this is a hypertube hole, uh, let's go ahead and just hide it. Oh, you know what? We do need power, though. So we're going to run power from there to there, and then this will go to the hypertube entrance on that side, and then it'll all be nice and clean. You won't be able to see it. Fantastic. Look at that. We're doing the things. Okay, and then also, since we're going to be working on the fourth floor, we really probably should get this next hypertube set up so we can get in and out of there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run the walls up there. And then we need to run another wall right there, basically. And then we're going to go ahead and run power on up. And then I need to get some more hypertube stuff. So let me go grab some hypertube stuff because uh, I want to get this all hooked up. I want to get this one actually moved to the forward as well. That way we can go between our floors <laughs> a little bit easier. Because like right now I need to go downstairs and I don't really have a good way to get down there. I guess we go this way and then I have to run around the back side of this one and then we can go down. Yeah, see, I don't like that. Okay, so let's get our hypertube entrance on here so we can move between floors a little bit easier. Boom and boom. That one's good to go. Now, where is... The fourth one should be on the center of these guys. So that means we need a wall hole. I believe it's right there. That appears to be centered. Okay, that appears to be centered. Um, Can I throw an entrance on this side? Ah, oh, see, the problem is I can't throw the entrance on this side because it needs to be any face the other way. Okay, so now hyper two. Woo! all the way down to there and then do we have any power issues okay let's check this out here so we should be able to go down and then out nice why is this one not powered though um oh you know it doesn't have an entrance on it that's why <laughs> there's no entrance on there uh hyper tube entrance that on there and we'll go ahead and wire it up there we go all right and actually we can use this one. <gasps> oh, this is this is gonna be so nice and a boop oh that was close that was a puckered moment fully puckered okay hypertube entrance throw that on this side grab this guy uh connect you to there and voila my gosh we've done a thing <laughs> so now we need to figure out how high we need these floors wow we are getting dangerously high like holy moly okay so let's you know what let's actually go and get these walls in here so that way we're not accidentally falling off because i can tell you right now i'm gonna accidentally fall off oh look at how high we are getting on the uh the space needle here this is super cool oh my gosh uh Oh, 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 a little dangerous. Oh, this is super cool. I love this middle court or courtyard area. Um, I think what might be cool is if we did some decoration. I would love to have like some kind of hypertube thing where you could see the hypertubes going like between these, but like I just don't feel like that's kind of necessary, you know? I mean, we could run one from this side to this side and this side to this side, or even vice versa this side to this side and this side to this side. Actually, it'd probably be better to have one like run there and then there. Might look cool. I don't know. Leave a comment. And let me know what you think. It might look cool, but at the same time, it might also kind of look kind of look weird, you know. But anyways, uh, we need to get we need to figure out how high this floor needs to be because we're gonna do manufacturing stuff. So let's grab a manufacturer. Let's grab everything we need for it. I'm gonna leave this alone. We're just gonna utilize this right now. Holy moly. That shoots us out pretty far. Uh, we're going to get everything we need for that. Oh, heavy modular frame. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so I have the plastic cable. I don't have the heavy modular frame. Oh, we need to make heavy modular frames. Heavy modular frames require, what, lots of screws? Lots of screws, probably. Let's see. 
Heavy modular frame requires modular frames, pipes, encased industrial beams, and screws. Oh, that is just marvelous. Uh, let's go ahead and drop some stuff off. I know my inventory over here is getting full. It's awful. I am sorry. Let's go and drop a few concrete off. We don't need that much. We don't need that much quick wire. Uh, we probably don't need that much silica right now. Okay, so that should give us enough room to grab the things that we need. What are the odds that the screws actually got caught up? <gasps> oh, they're full. Oh, that is fantastic. Absolutely fantabulous. What else did we need for heavy modular frames? I know we needed encased industrial beams, right? What else was there? Oh, we need the modular frames, duh. Oh my goodness. You know, sometimes I forget. Also, I've had a lot of people commenting about the um, the Hall of Things. Um, we're going to work on it eventually. <laughs> uh, I need to get Smart Splitters unlocked. And then I think what's going to end up happening here is I was going to hook this to our main network. So, like, it would automatically keep things full. But I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to make a storage system where I can just drop my inventory in there. And then if something starts running low, I can just go grab that item, throw, you know, throw like a few stacks in there and then call it a day. So I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think I'm going to hook it up to my entire factory because I just don't feel like I'm going to need it, you know? Um, but yes, we do need to get the Hall of Things done, but that's also going to come with getting the, where am I going? I need to go up so I can get the, the frames. Oh, this looks super cool. I love this. Uh, but yeah, Hall of Things soon-ish. First, second, third, what? Hmm. I need screens so I know which where stuff at. Let's go to the second floor and see what happens. Uh, that's the hub. I don't need to go to the hub network. I need to go to the first floor. Oh, I don't like this being on this side either. We're gonna fix this right now. There we go. Much, much better. See, now it's coming from here. Okay, fantastic. Uh, heavy modular frames should be in this room here. Do I have any? Yes. All right, we're gonna grab a few of those. Okay, let's go make some of these guys and then we'll get some manufacturers set up so we can get the uh, the right dimensions and kind of go from there. Also, this hypertube hub thing right here, I need to repeat on that side of the factory as well. So that way we don't have to run only to this side here. We can run to this side. Actually, you know what I might do since we already have four here, I might use the other side because I think I'm just gonna go right here in this area. I might actually use this side for the higher up stuff. We might use this for the first floor, first four floors, and this will be like, you know, floor five, six, seven, and eight. Oh my gosh, I can only make six heavy modular frames. Why? Oh, I'm out of pipes. I was like, how is this even possible? So I have enough for two manufacturers and that would actually work out perfectly. So we can get, we could get computers going and we could get heavy modular frames going. Uh, so we need to go to the third floor. Third floor is way up here. All right. And now we need to figure out how we're going to lay this out. So down below, we had roads that were kind of separating the different areas. We don't really have that anymore. So I don't really have to make separate rooms for everything because it's just not as compartmentalized as it was before. So like down there and down there, we had to basically compartmentalize everything. This is the hub. So up here is going to be our manufacturers. So let's start with, let's start with just placing a hub and look, like checking it or manufacturer and checking it out. So this guy, let's see. You are, how many walls tall do we have to have this thing? So one, two, three, four. Maybe, is it, is it gonna be five? Five would give us clearance, maybe? Let's see. Okay, so five will give us the clearance. I like that. So we'll stick with five floors. So I gotta figure out what I wanna do for this side. I think we're just gonna go straight up on this section because we have a, de a decent little curve going down here. I think we're gonna go straight up. And then after this floor, I really wanna just kinda like put some, some spikies on it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so there's that guy. Now, how do we wanna lay these out? Because we're going to need multiple manufacturers making multiple different things. Okay, so I think this is how we're going to do this. This manufacturer 
we're going to have two foundations from behind. So that way we can fit all of the different crazy kind of belts that we need. Um, and then actually, you know what? Let's give it three foundations just to make sure. Well, that's four. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> And then I think we're going to put them right on this corner here. So it lines up with that wall there. We've got a solid three foundations back here. We only have one output, so that's going to work. And then what I'm going to do for the other ones, because I don't exactly know how many I'm going to need, I'm going to go ahead and line this one up with this side over here, basically doing exactly the same thing. So let's get three foundations there. And let's get this lined up to that. So what this is going to allow me to do is we sell the three foundations back here for this. We saw the output, but depending on what we decide we need in the future, I could either extend out this way with more of these manufacturers making whatever that is, or we could extend out this way, making more of whatever this is. We're going to kind of leave this open for, you know, future expansion stuff. So that way, if we need to throw, you know, like say we need two more manufacturers of, I don't know, computers or whatever we're making then we can get those going. Um, and I'm going to do that with every side because if we do one on each side, so we do one there, one there, one there, one there, that would give us eight different components being made. And how many components realistically are we going to be making? So we have one, two, three. We only have three right now, but possibly like four or five. So that would give us plenty of room hopefully for future expansions i think that'll work so now since we're going to be working in this area i'm not going to throw the walls up quite yet actually you know what i'm going to do the i'm going to do the the first layer of walls and we're actually going to use we're going to use these because i just think these look so futuristic they almost look like a like kind of like a ufo kind of thing so i'm going to run a thing of windowed walls like this and then we can also look out and be like oh look at how high we are it's super cool Okay, so there's our layer of windows on the outside that'll help pre prevent us from falling off. Now, we need to do the decorative bits on the inside. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to I want to jump on top of this wall right here. Okay. And then basically I want to copy this, bring this up. That 3 goes there. Can't do that one because that's too it's on the other side of the deal. That 3 goes there. Those three are going to go there, and then these three right there. So we can keep everything lined up. We can go ahead and put our eye wall thing there. And uh, yeah, we decided five walls high, right? So this would be perfect. One, two, that'll be three, four, and then we'll just do a regular wall on top of that. Like that. And then that will be the inner wall done, and then we'll obviously go ahead and do our, our eye stuff there. Perfect. Okay, look at that. The whole center area is done. Oh, nice. I like it. I think it looks cool. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, now I need to go. I need to go through. And I need to hook up the wires. And then once we get the wires done around the center area here, then we can actually like you know start getting stuff done. Now I probably should go through, and I probably should put the windows in here as well. Um, I probably should. I honestly, I should just go through and put all the windows in here. And get those all done up too. Yeah, we might as well. Just so I don't forget later that I need to do this. And then like I start building something that's like, you know, in the way. Okay, perfect. Power is ran. Power is hooked up. Lights are hooked up. All the stuff is hooked up. Like it's supposed to be. I went and so when I actually hooked these ones up, I did it from back here and made sure I had my flashlight on. And I made sure that I visually verified that every time I placed it, it did what it was supposed to. Now, I did have the issue while I was placing some of these to where I place it, click on it, and it doesn't actually place it. So I'm wondering if that's what happened. If maybe the ones that I placed that were like, you know, acting kind of funny were the ones that ended up being messed up overall. So these all look good. We now have power. Um, oh man, you know, we could almost just go ahead and run the ceilings and the walls up, but we need to make sure we'd have to make sure we light everything like really good, you know, like good lighting. 
So, and I, you know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because we're going to be working in this area quite a bit. And I think it's just going to be a better lighting situation if we just have the sunlight out here, you know? So, okay. Making progress. So now the things that we need to hook up, um, we need to hook up the stuff for, like I said, the computer. Now, the, unfortunately, the plastic and the, um, elect the circuit boards, not going to really be able to automate those yet because we can't pull those all the way from the other place unless we put belts down or I ran trucks, but I want to run trains for that. So I think temporarily what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a, a line essentially of these items that are just going from a storage unit. I'm just going to hand deliver them over and just kind of go that route. Now there is one other thing that I'd like to do. I would like to look at where we're going to put grand spaghetti station because I think where I'm going to put it has moved a little bit. Originally, I was going to place it on this side back here, but we're kind of already overhanging the map a little bit. Uh, you know, it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. Um, but I was thinking that maybe we could put it over here on this side because we're not actively using this pipe. We are actively using this iron. Oh, but there's like land masses and stuff in the way. Okay. You know what? I think Grand Spaghetti Station is going to remain over here. Now, I did have an idea with Grand Spaghetti Station. And that was that I wanted to have it up higher. So that way we'd have to worry about, you know, uh, moving around terrain and stuff like that. So I want to see how high the hub floor actually is. It's not really super high, but let's see here. So here's our hub network floor. So let's take, let's poke a hole into one of these things and let's take a peek out of it. Let's kind of see where we're, where, where we're sitting at as far as elevation goes. So, I mean, we're fairly high. We are fairly high up. I think this will work. I think this will work indeed. Now, since we're not going to do, do a Grand Spaghetti Station on this side, it's going to be on the other side. So, let's kind of take a peek over here. So, let's see. This block right here is our center. So let's do this, run this out. So if we wanted to, we could have Grand Spaghetti Station right here. At this height, we can have the trains come in, roll in right here. And then what we could do is then have our offloading all right here along this. We can offload everything. And then we can just tie that right into our hub network. Or if we need to move something from the hub network to, for some reason, to a different factory completely, we can pull off and send it back. So basically trains come in. Hmm. You know what though? I like this as far as this goes. Hold on a second. Let me see here. So let's do an industrial storage. Let's get this kind of lined up here. Let's do, let's just center this on this platform right here. So if we had storage here, ideally, we almost want the trains coming in underneath, either coming in underneath or above. So that way we can just drop straight down or drop straight or basically elevate straight up. So like the train station drops off, it fills up a station, it fills up a, a storage. And from that storage, we could either drop it straight down into these. So it could actually be up higher. Ooh. Or it could be down lower and we could elevate it. The only problem is that we're going to have to have the trains going up and down and elevating things like that is always kind of a pain. So let's do this. How high would we want these floors? I would want them pretty darn high because I want to be able to run. Uh, I want to be able to run belts. So I'd almost say like the bottom of the train station should be like right here. So that way we could run down 
into these storages, but we could also run, you know, across, side to side, wherever is, you know, Grand Spaghetti Station, right? That's what it is. It's a giant spaghetti network. And then have the trains coming in up there. Or we could have them coming in ground level and then deal with elevation changes and stuff. Now, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to have the train up here. It'll drop off. Uh, we'll have it drop resources down into these. And then from here, we can then attach these to our hub network um, as big as it's ever going to get. And then, yeah, I think that'll work. I think that'll work nicely. Oh my gosh. This place is seriously growing in size. Uh, before this episode, we only had to where the lights are. And now look at how much bigger it is. Oh, I love it. I love it. It looks so cool. I can't wait to like, because we're going to have a few more floors. We're never going to eat. We're never going to creep in. It's always going to be the same squarical uh, center area. And we're just going to keep building up. And then eventually we're just going to, you know, teeter off and have it like, you know, nice sharp points and stuff. But, oh, that's going to look super cool. And I just love, I just love these windows that are shaped like that. It just looks so like UFO. Mm. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, because that's going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And uh, have a happy Thanksgiving, because I think that, I think when this video releases, it's going to be happy Thanksgiving. If you celebrate, if you celebrate happy Thanksgiving, if you don't, just happy day. Have a good day. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much again. If you enjoyed, maybe consider leaving a like. If you're new here, maybe consider subscribing as well for some more. But see you in the next one.